on behalf of the University of Oklahoma and our baseball program. We're extremely excited to uh, compete uh, here at Virginia Tech in the regional. Um, we've had a, a lot going on back home, to say the least, um, with our Big 12 tournament uh, right on the, uh, on the back end of the uh, devastating tornadoes that um, hit our, our community. Uh, they're just a few miles north of us. And, um, you know, we've been talking to our team all year about uh, playing inspired, and we were picked to win the regular season Big 12 title. Um, although we have up to six freshmen that make a huge impact on our team, um, because of Jonathan Gray, because of Dylan Overton, because of returning College World Series participants um, and captains, Jack Mayfield at shortstop and Max White in center field. But um, we, we played well all year, and uh, I tell you what, the things that happened around us last week um, were inspiring, um, to say the least. The way that the people uh, of the state of Oklahoma have, have come together and, and pulled together, um, supported one another, um, you know, it was, it was pretty devastating. Uh, on a personal note, uh, my daughter, my son-in-law, my grandson, my first grandson, Gunner, my only grandchild, um, live in Moore. And so when the tornado was actually hitting, um, everybody was going one direction and I wasn't probably being the smartest person, but um, I found myself going in the opposite direction towards it because I wanted to, uh, to get to them and make sure they were okay. My wife, um, Charlotte, who was here with me, uh, was at uh, school at the time and uh, she teaches. And so um, we knew our son was safe and um, I wanted to make sure that they were safe. Um, so that was probably about a mile from the actual school, um, Tower Plaza that got hit. It was less than a mile from the movie theater that you guys have seen on all the national news. And so after holding my grandson and knowing that they were okay and watching it on TV, I, I went to try to help. Because you can't do it, you can't do nothing. I mean, that's just, it, it's just, it's too hard to watch and knowing it's right there. And, Everybody wanted to help, but we found ourselves really getting in each other's way, and we had to stay out of the way of the first responders. But our guys have been terrific. We four, four went our batting practice time in our conference tournament uh, to do community service. Some of our guys were delivering stuff. Some of our guys were staying in Norman. The University of Oklahoma has opened its dorms and its cafeterias and um, just its arms, basically, to help take care of the people of the great state. I know I'm not talking much baseball here, but uh, for us right now, it's, uh, it's much more than, than baseball. And uh, I think that has really helped a group of young men. And I was talking to our president and our uh, president, David Bourne, and our athletics director, Joe Castiglione, <coughs> um, that you know, it's been a tremendous life lesson for our student athletes of what we've gone through um, and uh, you know, the things that they've done. And, we, uh, we four went our batting practice time, stayed home, and then we got on a bus and we were going to have to go a long way just to get, I don't know, maybe um, 12 miles from our campus to our Big 12 tournament at Bricktown, a AAA ballpark. And uh, as we were going the long way, our bus broke down and we were sitting there at 1030 at night and we've been sitting on the curb for an hour and I didn't have one player uh, complaining and normally you would. You know, you, you really would. I mean, we always hear about student athletes and entitlement. My guys were trying to, you know, catch jelly beans at 10 feet away with their mouths and joking and just laughing. And, and they just understood. And they put, put everything in perspective. And so it's helped us to uh, play very inspired baseball. Our team has played very inspired. You can ask me about the individual performances. I'm glad to answer those. But uh, we, on the way over, have been watching um, – and modern technology is amazing, but we're watching uh, Channel 4 and, and uh, you know, one of our meteorologists, Mike Morgan, we're under tornado watch right now. Uh, there's one south of Norman heading towards uh, our hometown, and then there's one north of Oklahoma City in Guthrie, and uh, they're very educated, and they're keeping everybody, you know, safe right now, but for the last 30 minutes, you know, that's what we've been watching. And uh, so we're thinking about the people back home, and, and we want, that's the, most important thing. We want to play inspired baseball for the state of Oklahoma, and we want everybody to know back home that we're thinking about them. And then the outpouring from the concert with uh, our own Blake Shelton to what our own um, 
Toby Keith. Everybody knows Boomer Sooner and Toby Keith go hand in hand. And um, you know what KD's done with the Thunder and the Thunder organization, all the corporations, just it's, it's pretty remarkable. And then outside of our state, and we were eating the day before we left. Uh, my family and I with uh, one of our football coaches and their family, and we saw some of the first responders uh, from New York uh, on the Twin Towers were actually in Norman. They were eating uh, because they're being housed there in Norman. And, you know, there was a visit about how Oklahoma showed up there during that tragedy and how now they're down here. And they got pretty emotional. So um, a lot more of the baseball going on in the Sooners' lives. And, and I, re I really think in everybody's life right now.